Hello and welcome to Big Ear. My name is Stonehood and in this video I want to talk about your hearing health. And in a time such as this, I believe that it is of the utmost importance for you to really take stock of your health and to analyze the habits that you have so you can put things in place to take better care of your health for the long term. And in this video, I'm going to make it nice, short and sweet. We're going to discuss preventative measures that you can take to help protect you against either tinnitus, hearing loss, or a combination of both. And I would like to put you in a position to take better care of your hearing health. A lot of people think that because you get older, it just means you're gonna have bad hearing. And it's a myth that I want to eliminate. Will I in my lifetime? I have no idea if I will, but I would love to give good information so you as an individual can take better care of your hearing health. Right now, what you can do, and it will take five minutes, is to write down your hobbies. Are you shooting guns? Do you ride motorcycles? Do you go to a lot of concerts? Do you work in a loud environment? Take stock of your life, write it down, and understand what decibels you're facing. You can either take a dosimeter, which reads the decibels in your environments that you're in, and you can measure that and you can cross-reference it on Google and you can find the decibel levels that you're gonna be facing. That's step number one. Then, understand what the human body can be exposed to and for how long it can be exposed to in regards to decibels. There is recommended daily exposure times and you need to understand those. Really hammer it down, really understand what those recommended times are and know how long you're being exposed to these decibel levels. Now there's different sounds that come in at different frequencies. So that may be another thing that you need to do. Understand the frequencies that you're exposed to. I will put down below in the description of this video, great articles that is a wonderful place to start, but it's gonna be on your own volition to go out and do your homework on decibels, sound pressure, the different frequencies that sound waves travel in and the decibels that you are exposed to. Because as somebody who is in the field on a daily basis and going and traveling the world selling hearing protection, I found that this is a completely individualistic experience. That's why one size fit all solutions don't always work for everybody. You have to understand what your hobbies are. You have to understand what your habits are. You have to understand what your hearing protection habits are. And it is a complete retraining of your own habits. And just like trying to kick any other habit or regain a habit or actually form a habit, it takes time and practice and failure. So building these habits in your life is going to be something that is going to be a frustrating thing. You're going to resent it. But if you apply conscious habits to take better care of your health, I have personally seen people's life massively improve as they age because they chose to make hearing protection a major factor in their life. Now, just like anything else in the health world, there are so many different paths that you can go down. But what I'd like for you to do is to go and do your research on these things. Figure out what works best for you. Now, there's so many different products out in the world. There's so many different hearing protection devices and things that will allow you to protect your ears. But when it comes down to finding the best solution for yourself is you have to understand what goal you're trying to achieve. What are you doing in your life? There's different hearing protection will work great if you're in a gun range as opposed to working in an industrial facility. There's hearing protection will work better for those of you who ride motorcycles as opposed to those of you who fly airplanes. There's so many different products that will allow you to protect yourself when you're doing the things that you do. And the biggest thing that I find is that it has to be the right product for your ears. So you gotta do your homework. And if you're gonna change your habits, if you're going to take a look at your life and change those things in your life and make a conscious decision to protect yourself and, and live a healthier and happier life, you have to figure out what's going to help you with the issue. If you are controlling the things that you can only control, if you're wearing the right hearing protection, if you understand that if you're gonna be shooting guns, you're going to be needing a higher reduction filtered earplug or a full stop earplug or electronic hearing protection because there are different factors about sound that can alter and can change, but you do have control over one thing and that is protecting yourself and putting in earplugs. If you put in earplugs and you create a positive habit for the next 30, 60, or 90 days, you can alter the next 30, 40, or 50 years of your life if you consciously protect your hearing. You form positive habits. And that's what I really would like to get across in this video is that it takes you to make a conscious and health-centric decision to protect your ears and to not only make it better for yourself, 
but to make it better for the next generation of kids coming up because the next generation of kids and their children will watch the habits that you partake in. And if you're protecting your ears, they will as well. So if you have any questions, my email will come up here and my phone number will come up here and we can discuss any further questions. I'm going to thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll hear you later.